nice dinner party. in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like the before. treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. I think it was to scare us. A warning. Well, mission accomplished. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the White Pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far, we found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. 
Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. Hey, would you people all just calm down? Calm? <laughs> Listen to this, talking about calm. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Lizzie. Jesse, listen, there's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone, probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan swoop in and take it from under my nose? Oh, and so that's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it? I wouldn't waste my time in all these white pumpkin games. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Tri-block champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. If you're looking for a likely culprit, I'd look at that guy. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Who's up next? Can you send Dan in, please? Right. I saw Lizzie on the way out. I don't know what she told you, but... I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Have you talked to Stampy yet? He loves bows and arrows and stuff. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block champion. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I I don't like uh, accusing people, but my guess would be Stampy. 
He likes to play it off like he's not interested in it, but I know he wants it just as much as any of us do. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when Stampy comes in, don't forget to ask him about Redstone. He's amazing with that stuff. Want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for all Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy. Everyone's friend. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. No, nope, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average, level, moderate? I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny, because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What, uh, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Okay, 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 fine. You caught me. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on! This is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. I think I have my suspect. Really? You actually think you know the White Pumpkin's real identity? Yeah, I'm gonna tell everyone at once. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes, where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah. I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah. No kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. 
Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. Petra's got a good point. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone gets hurt. An excellent plan. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well... After you, then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Hey, do you trust me or not? I don't need people second-guessing me on this. Jeez, okay, okay. Sorry. Yes. Keep that temper up and people will start to think you're the White Pumpkin. What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. I see Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? The White buttons? Pumpkin, he's in there! Oh, come on. Let's Nothing go like this, this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. Yeah! What, what on earth? What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Spiders are everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. Ooh. <laughs> 
party. <laughs> This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Ah! 